Anthem's quest design is bad. It's super bad. It's not even kind of good. My name is Troy Harrison Christ, but my subscribers just call me THC. Welcome to the video. I wanted as many people to see this as possible before they bought Anthem because I believe it is a beautiful game with incredible gameplay, but it is just wrapped in this shell of terrible, terrible, terrible quest mechanics. The missions in Anthem are repetitive, boring, and absolutely not worth paying for. I don't want to hate on Bioware. I love Bioware. They're one of my favorite developers of all time. I've played Mass Effect 2, I don't know, 9, 8, 10 times? Who knows? But I'm incredibly, incredibly disappointed with Anthem. Uh, when you played the Mass Effect games, uh, the quests were so dynamic, you would never expect the same thing over and over again. Like, for example, uh, here's how quests worked in Mass Effect. You would land on a planet, you would have to go investigate and figure out what was going on, what's the news, what do you have to do for me? Let's use Omega. You land on Omega, as soon as you land, a big-ass Batarian comes up to you goes, you need to go to Afterlife. Arya wants to speak to you. You can either be like, I don't want to talk to her, or yes, I do. When you go there, she alerts you to about three quests on one random world. Uh, after a, uh, an, an enormous amount of questions and different uh, hilarious situations that you can get in. So after that, maybe you follow the Archangel quest. So you, you follow a, a truck of mercenaries, right? And they take you to this district where a vigilante has taken it upon himself to just hunt down criminals. So all these criminal mercenary groups are trying to attack him. So we're actually trying to recruit him. And so we kind of turn our backs on these mercenary groups who got us there. And then we actually end up recruiting the Archangel and spoiler, spoiler, spoiler alert. And it ends up being your best friend from Mass Effect. So that's the level of quest design that we're dealing with for Bioware fans. We're expecting a lot more. When we boot up Anthem, we're like, wow, this game looks pretty. Okay, it runs all right on my Xbox, whatever. It, it's flickering and glitched out on my PC with two graphics cards. Whatever. I'm very excited to play this game. It's a Bioware game. Whatever. But then once you get about an hour into the game, you start realizing that it doesn't have much more to offer you than what it has already shown you. Examples of quest design include shooting way too many enemies, grabbing some random thing that they drop, bringing it back to Fort Tarsus. How about uh, sitting in a circle until a door opens? Does any of this sound oddly familiar? Have any of you played Destiny 2? The worst thing for me about Anthem, the game is fun, gunplay is amazing, the powers are beautiful, I like blue LEDs, it looks great. But the worst part about Anthem for me is that they copy the absolute, absolute worst parts about Destiny. Sure, you want to make a looter shooter. W what game are you going to copy? You're going to copy the most popular looter shooter of all time. Destiny, Destiny 2, whatever. Maybe you'll throw a little division action in there. Sure, why not? The problem with that is uh, there's a lot of people who played uh, SWOTOR, who played the OG Old Republic, who played Mass Effect 1, ME2, Mass Effect 3. Sure, 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 sure. Bioware wanted to make a looter shooter. They wanted to make something that could grow, could be a uh, games as service type of platform, what, whatever you want to call it. The main problem is they didn't do the, <laughs> the massive, massive, massive things they are known for. The incredible story the uh, likable characters, the branching story arcs, everything that Mass or that Mass Effect and BioWare is known for is not shown in Anthem whatsoever. It is a glorified third person Destiny 2. I know that sounds brutal, I know that sounds harsh, but it's the case. I really wanted to like this game. I waited in line for 2 hours at E3 to watch a press demo that I had already seen and we didn't even get to play it. I uh, played the uh, early access beta or demo or whatever the hell they wanted to call it. I I've given this game a lot of a lot of hope, a lot of dreams, a lot of anticipation and a lot of leeway. 
uh, when when I was playing the demo, I was like, okay, this is the gameplay is fun, but I'm like, they're definitely hiding all the cool stuff. They're hiding all the fun quests. They're hiding all the interesting characters. But then now that I'm at the EA early access a week before the actual release of the game, and I'm realizing that everything I thought that they hid is actually it's just the same as everything they showed us. It's a big disappointment. It, it is a huge disappointment. Literally, I know I've, I've waxed poetically and just kind of ranted, this, this is going to be a short little video here, but the quest design, mission design, whatever you want to call it, of Anthem is so boring. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to be shooting people and just over and over and over and over again. The effects are beautiful. I know the the powers have all these crazy combos like 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 Andromeda where you can combine elemental fire ice lightning all this stuff to create the perfect class for you the problem is they spent all this time focusing on how to make the gameplay addicting and it 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 is addicting the gameplay is great and the weird part about it is it appeals to a massive massive audience but it is god damn repetitive to a fault to an absolute you guys should have thrown this back to the drawing board i thought anthem was gonna sell really well and it still might because the gameplay is it's there it's there the story is half-assed there and you don't really have to experience it if you don't want to which is strange because it's a bioware game where they focus story that's that's their stick that's what they're good at but they make this game that focuses on this gameplay loop that is just over and over and over again you're doing the exact same thing so <laughs> uh one <laughs> one thing that that comes to mind is this quest they keep giving me it's not the same quest but you do the same thing in the quest again and i am just i cannot believe that Bioware actually thinks people think this is fun? That they think this, that people want to do this? I can't believe that they even imagine that this is good quest design. So, about two hours into the game, I got a quest, right? Which I had played pretty much in the beta. I got a similar quest. You have to jump in the sky, gather these floating white orbs, correct? You gotta just gather them and bring them back to a spot. And the door to the interesting stuff and the actual, you know, content that you want to play is locked up behind, you know, this circle that requires you to bring it 12 glowy balls. Like, okay, the first time I did that in the demo, I was like, I don't ever want to do this again. Why are they making me fly in the sky to pick up floating balls which they don't explain to be there, which there's no reason to be there. How is the key to opening this door floating balls in the sky? I'm going to keep saying floating balls because that's how ridiculous this actually is. So anyways, I played it in the demo. I was like, dude, this has to be a like a one-off quest, right? We're never going to do this again. We're never going to catch floating balls. No, I ended up doing it. Mm -hmm two three more times in the demo and then i get the full game i'm like okay they said the uh the demo is about halfway through the game i'm definitely not gonna get that floating ball quest that i hated so much it was so boring i can't believe they added that to the game about an hour into the game i get a collect seven floating balls to open a door quest i was like are you kidding me is this what they think is fun am i the only one that's just laughing at this that we went from all of that, all these chaining events that matter. I mean, if you if you take into account the Mass Effect 3 ending, yeah, sure, they don't matter. But throughout Mass Effect 1 and 2 and most of Mass Effect 3, your decisions rolled over. Not even from just the start of the quest to the end of the quest, but from the start of the first quest to the end of the last quest. It's like, how did Bioware fall so far? and decide to just copy Destiny 2. So hardcore, it's ridiculous. I, I, I don't know, it's... Uh, I keep seeing this trend where video game developers, they want to do what's popular. 
They want to do what's quote unquote making money. The problem is if you don't do something that's original and you just try and make money, people see that. It's obvious. And if you don't put effort into the quest design, into what we're actually playing day to day, I haven't even talked about, I haven't even talked about how the story is divided from the gameplay completely. All the stories at Fort Tarsus and all the gameplay is out and about fooking with monsters and all that good stuff. I haven't even talked about that. It's an, that's a whole nother video. It's so dumb to me. I, I don't know. Bioware went from a beautiful, a beautiful medley of story, gameplay, characters, decision, uh, absolute player choice, all in one package where you didn't have to leave the shooting to go talk to your, your favorite character, to your favorite blue lady with a big booty. You didn't have to do that. You just talk to her during the mission. I, I just don't get it. They went from... <laughs> it, it's... It's screwing with me. It's screwing with me. I gave this game so much, so much leeway. Epic voice crack. I gave this game so much leeway. I was like, oh my god, it's Bioware. I love Bioware. I'll buy anything they do. I'll buy anything they make. Anything they even publish if that happens one day. But at this point, oh my god. Either they, dr <laughs> they drastically update Anthem with ongoing DLC that really, 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 really implements or implements on the quest design. Uh, or I, I don't, I don't see this game making money, but it's just baffling to me. How do you take a developer? You're like, all right, all the fans love them for their amazing characters, their epic stories, and their interactive interweaving and interchanging story arcs and then you replace that with a third person destiny clone that does nothing better than destiny doesn't do a single thing better than destiny besides blue leds and lightning effects to be honest it's crazy it's like it's the same thing you see with with uh, bethesda it's like what do bethesda fans love they love incredible stories and beautiful worlds that they've never discovered and all this role-playing player choice what did bethesda give us a multiplayer half-ass building game with broken combat that i guess you could call fallout 76 i don't know 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 i know this was a ranty video and i said it was going to be short but now it's kind of long but it's anthem has just Anthem's missions suck. Anthem's missions suck. You do the same things over and over again, over and over and over again. Kind of like this ranty ass video where I'm talking about the same thing over and over again. But the amount of time that you shoot way too many enemies, that you collect some random shard that some random enemy dropped for some random quest that you randomly don't care about that you got after randomly visiting Fort Tarsus and randomly walking around a corner. I I don't know. I don't I don't know. How Bioware actually thought this was a good idea. I know it's gonna make a lot of money. I'm not saying it's not gonna make a lot of money, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't buy the game. I'm just saying people who are looking for a classic Bioware game, this is not it. It's not not it at all. This is, I wouldn't even call it a Bioware game. I would call this an EA money grab i don't know i mean casey hudson seems passionate about it but a week before release it's broken it's busted and on pc it doesn't seem like it should be anywhere near released which is kind of reminding me of the mass effect andromeda situation all over again and can they really release another broken game on pc and just tank the reviews did you know EA averages closing one Bioware studio every two years? I think it's for about six years. So and, uh, I don't want to crap on Anthem and I don't want to crap on Bioware because Casey Hudson is my second favorite person in the world uh, besides Todd Howard. And dude, if Bioware closed down because this game was not a success, I'd be so sad. But if it does, it's on them because... Uh, Sure, you made fun gameplay. Sure, you made a repetitive looter shooter grindy loop, but 
that loop is not fun and the story is not interesting and the quest design is just I, I don't even have a word for it anymore it's just like I can't believe I, I can't believe it the quest design is just boring it's repetitive it's bad all right, hopefully you learned a thing or two on whether or not you're actually going to buy Anthem. I just did not want anybody wasting money on a game that they are not actually going to like. If they're looking for, you know, a good story, good characters, and, you know, good mission design. Yes, 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 yes. Anthem looks beautiful. Yes, the gunplay is amazing. But, but most importantly, the missions suck. My name is Troy Harrison Christ. You guys have a good one. Drop a like, subscribe, comment if you enjoyed the video. Uh, click the bell icon if you do that sort of thing. And um, yeah, check out some of my other videos and my live streams. I did not write the script. This was an absolute rant. I, uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully you um, stop by uh, some of my other stuff. All right, guys, I'm out of here. My name is THC and or Troy Harrison Christ. Have a good one. Have a great one. Peace.